Kenya's new finance minister declares that as the country struggles to raise revenue to repay debts to lenders including the World Bank, the International Monetary Fund and China, some of the proposed taxes that led to weeks of deadly protests will be reintroduced through the tax amendment bill. Whose anger over the rising cost of living led protesters to storm parliament and pressure President William Ruto to abandon a controversial finance bill and sack most of his cabinet, have already criticized John Badley's announcement in an interview broadcast on local television on Sunday. Now, some of the proposals that were included in the unpopular finance bill have been revived. Badi said the proposed tax amendment will include dozens of measures, including a tax on goods deemed environmentally unfriendly. The youth-led protest movements have already responded to the minister's comments saying demonstrations will continue across Kenya. Kenya's National Human Rights Commission says more than 50 people have died since protests began in mid-June amid allegations of police brutality. Kenya's president defended the new taxes, warning there will be consequences after the previous bill was withdrawn. The International Monetary Fund, which is supporting an economic reform program in Kenya, had already suggested some of the controversial tax changes. The protesters also called for the president to resign, but William Ruto said he will not do so.